are you struggling to figure out why users aren't sticking around on your website or why that buy now button remains untouched and you wonder why you couldn't get into your user's mind to see what's working and what's not well it turns out you don't need my reading powers you just need a bit of ai assistant and today i will show you how to use ChatGPT to analyze your website user behavior in seconds without droning to a bunch of data First, to effectively analyze user behavior, it's essential to identify the key metrics. So open up ChatGPT and type in this prompt. So here, add in your product and website information and also add your specific aspect that you want to improve on your website. And then ChatGPT will suggest some crucial metrics like page views, bow rates, and section duration. And now when you know what metrics to check, let's move on to analyzing user flow and navigation. By doing this, you can pinpoint the areas where users may be getting stuck or dropping off, helping you optimize your website structure and content. So you need to export your user acquisition data from Google Analytics and ask ChatGPT to analyze this data to identify any potential navigation issues or drop off points. Okay, so in this step, ChatGPT will provide insights on potential navigation issues or drop off points. For example, it may highlight that many users are dropping off on a specific page and suggest that the content or call to action on that page needs improvement. Okay, so next, let's zoom in even further. So you get your individual page performance data from Google Analytics and ask ChatGPT to analyze which pages aren't performing well and even suggest why maybe your content is unclear or perhaps that call to action is too hidden. So with all the data and the feedbacks from the user, it's time to create an optimization plan for your website. So you can use this prompt. So after having a detailed plan, implement these changes, check the results and keep refining the optimization process based on the results. Okay, so that's it for our today's tutorial. If you found this guy helpful, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more tips. And remember, optimizing your website is an ongoing journey, so keep testing and changing. So catch you in the next video.